Are you new to self-publishing? Perhaps you've written a book and are ready to self-publish but not quite sure how to upload the ebook to KDP. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to publish an ebook on Amazon Kindle. So stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel hit your little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. When it comes to publishing a book or ebook, the first platform that comes to mind is typically Amazon's KDP, or Kindle Direct Publishing. While KDP allows you to self-publish both ebook as well as KDP print books, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to focus solely on how to publish an ebook on Amazon Kindle. So with that, I'm going to flip the screen around and we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to kdp.amazon.com. I'm going to assume that you don't have a KDP account to start with. If that's the case, then you're just going to click sign up. At the bottom, there's a create your KDP account. It's going to ask you for a username, an email, and a password, and then you're going to re-enter the password and create your KDP account. I already have an account, so I'm actually going to click sign in. We can select a Kindle ebook or paperback. For now, we're going to go with ebook. Now, ebook and paperback setup is pretty similar, but I'll do paperback in another video. Um, I'm going to put in my title. We're going to do it for my book, One Bad Call. This book doesn't have a subtitle, so I'm going to leave that blank. Uh, it is part of a series. It's part of the One Call series, and it is book one. Um, edition, if it's the first time you put up, you do not have to put an edition number. And you can click on here to get a little more information. The author, that's going to be me. Now, obviously, if you're using a pen name, you'll put the pen name here. If you have other contributors, you can add them here, and you can continue to add people if you put too many boxes. You can always click the remove button. Your description, this is what's going to be on your book's Amazon detail page. The important thing is not so much the number of words you put in there, but the quality of the words you put in there. You want to make sure that this is enticing and inviting to your potential reader. This is basically your sales copy. So for now, I'm just going to put in, this is book one of the one call softball series. I go back and change that later. Publishing rights. I own the copyright. Technically, you can do public domain work. I strongly advise against that. Amazon's really trying to steer away from that. They want you to have unique content. Keywords. KDP allows you to have seven searchable keywords for your book. That's seven for your ebook, seven for your paperback. Now, understand that even though it says keywords, that does not mean that you want to put just one word in these boxes. You're allowed up to 50 characters per slot, so use them. Don't just cram a bunch of stuff in here, but make sure it's all words and phrases that pertain to your particular book. I'll do another video and explain how to come up with some keywords, but for now, just know you're allowed seven keyword slots with 50 characters allowed in each slot. Choose your two browse paths. These are just the starter paths. This is just to give Kindle and Amazon an idea of where to place your book. Once people start buying your book, the algorithm will figure out, you know, this is the type of person that buys this book and it'll, it may change the categories that it's in. For now, this one is a juvenile fiction book. Um, I know it's for girls and women. And also let's go down to sports. Sports and Recreation, Baseball, Softball. And as you can tell, obviously I'm familiar with this, but so I can go through fairly quickly, but feel free to go through and you know take your time and look at it. And the good thing is, is this is not cast in stone. You can always change these categories. This is just a starter point. Your age and grade range, you do not have to fill these out. As you can see, they're optional. Uh, you can click on the minimum and anywhere from baby to 18 plus, and you can set a maximum. Uh, grades goes from preschool to 12th grade. This is for the pre-order. I'm ready to release my book now or make my ebook available for pre-order. 
There are pros and cons to doing a pre-order. I'll do a whole other video on how to do pre-orders and why. But for now, I'm going to do I am ready to release my book now. And then I'm going to click Save and Continue. Now we're working on the Kindle ebook content. First thing it's going to ask you is, how do, do you want digital rights management? You can hover over here and get a little more information or click it and see a whole uh, article on it. But basically, uh, what it is, is it basically it puts a watermark on there and it is to deter people from lending your book out, giving your book away when they've purchased it. If someone belongs to the Kindle lending library, they're still able to lend out your book for up to 15 days to a friend. So it's not 100%. I typically will select no. And the reason why is because I want as many people to know about me as an author, me as a brand, and know about my book as possible. So I don't care if people share it. I hope they do. It's a personal author decision, book by book, whatever you want, yes or no. Now understand that once you publish this, you cannot change this. So make sure you choose wisely for that particular book. And now it's time to upload my ebook manuscript. I'm gonna go into one bad call and I'm going to select manuscript is uploaded successfully, yippee skippy. Moving on to Kindle ebook cover. If you do not have a Kindle cover, you can use the cover creator. So I'm gonna click upload a cover you already have. It has to be a JPEG or TIFF file, that's it. I'm gonna upload, and this is my cover. Cover uploaded successfully. So like I said, here's my cover. I did this completely for free, and I'll show you in another video how I did I'll probably use this particular cover as an example. I've got my interior, I've got my cover, and now you want to launch the previewer. This is just gonna give you an idea of what your book will look like on an e-reader. Obviously it's not gonna be 100%, but it's gonna give you an idea. So if you see something right off the bat that doesn't seem to work, then you wanna make sure you change it. Again, man, that's a nice cover. Okay. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna to go to click on the book details to go back to where I was. Everything looks great. As of 2018, you do not need an ISBN for an ebook, so I just leave that blank. But if you have one, this is where you would put it, as well as the publisher's name, if you want to do that. Again, it's optional, both of them. Save and continue. Do you want to enroll your ebook in KDP Select? I'll do a whole other video to get into a little more detail. For now, I'm not going to select it. Do I want it in all territories, or do I want to just select territories? Um, I always do all territories. Okay, now it's going to ask me my royalty plan I want. Um, I can either do 35% or I can do 70%. If I do 35%, um, I, this tells you right here what my range has to be. So I can put it as cheap as 99 cents or as much as $200. If I do 70%, the cheapest I can make is $2.99. These are the conversions of your, your price in the different marketplaces. You can actually go in here and change them if you'd like, but right now it just defaults to the equivalent. The Matchbook program, Matchbook program, and I explained it right here, but basically if I click Enroll, it gives me an option that I can either make it 99 cents or I can make it free. So if they buy my paperback, if I click 99 cents, then they can get the ebook for 99 cents. Or you can make it so if they buy the paperback, they get the ebook for free. That's completely up to you. Book lending, this is where I was telling you about the lending library. Um, it allows people that are in KDP's program, it's called Kindle Unlimited, and they pay, I think right now it's $9.99 a month, and they can check out books. I think they're allowed up to 10 books. And that is how you set up a book on KDP for your ebook. If you like that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up to help support the channel. And remember, if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit your little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. Until next time, I'm Keith Wheeler, and remember to write right.